Hey guys, how you doing today? P3OZ here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use uTorrent and how to make the program live up to its potential. Um, I've actually been using BitTorrent, or I used to use BitTorrent rather, um, a while back, and I had an old channel, but um, I can't seem to find a download for it online. Anywhere I go, I can't find a download for it, so I figured I'd get uTorrent. I've had uTorrent up for about maybe a week now, maybe a week and a half, and I get a couple torrents, and it's pretty good, guys. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good program. Um, so I'm going to show you what I have for my settings, and then I'm going to show you an example of a torrent, and I'm going to show you guys, um, like how fast it goes, like it gets up to like 8 gigs a second, I mean 8 megabytes a second, I don't know why I said 8 gigabytes. Um, okay, so let's go to our options, we're going to go to preferences, okay, um, that's the advanced, we're going to start in general, um, just copy this, you didn't really have to do anything for general, but what we, re what we really want to go to is connection. This is the port I'm using right now. You can change it, um, but you should really use my port because um, it gives you like the best connection, in my opinion. Like I get some pretty good connection with this one. Uh, make sure these three are checked. Make sure proxy server is even touched. We're gonna go over to bandwidth. Make sure this is at zero for maximum upload rate. Maximum download rate is gonna be zero. Global maximum number of connections 500. We're gonna go to 2328 for the maximum number of connected peers per torrent. Maximum number of uploaded slots per torrent is going to be 4, and then make sure this is checked. Uh, BitTorrent, we're just going to enable all of the following. Then, we're going to go to Transfer Cap, and make sure it looks like this. You shouldn't even have this enabled in the first place by default, but if it is, disable it. Queuing settings, uh, this is going to be at 2, 1, 200, 0, and 0. Um, then we're going to go to scheduler, you don't even have to do anything with that, remote, nothing, playback, nothing, paired devices, nothing, label, nothing, advanced, make sure that the connection speed at 7, this is 128, and that's 0, and that's going to be it for today guys, once you do that, um, your BitTorrent, or your uTorrent rather, is going to be very good, it's going to be very fast, and so now I'm going to show you an example. Hey guys, as you, can, as you can see on this torrent, I'm getting 2.7, but it keeps uh, jumping up periodically. Uh, this torrent in general should jump up to around 5. Uh, I'm just going to wait here for a minute to show you guys that it's going to keep going up as long as you have peers going. Um, this should keep climbing up. Now it's going to jump back down to 3. Um, your download speed does also depend on how many peers you have. But if you have over 100 peers, you should be alright. As you can see, I'm jumping around the 2 megabyte range. Um, some torrents um, should be around 5 to 7, but this is very good. Uh, a 4 gigabyte uh, movie here only takes 41 minutes to get, so it's pretty good.